Well, you know, uh, Lewis, uh, you have really shared a lot of information. We've talked about how uh, you were affected by your illness, how you overcame the situation, and you became not only uh, personally victorious, but you began to reach out to others. And again, through your foundation here, we want to talk about because part of what this collaboration is doing and part of what the whole spirit of calling all brothers is that brothers bring their issues and their talents and their gifts to the table. And then we began to resource how can we support one another, how can we begin to help one another and being successful in wherever and whatever endeavor that we happen to find ourselves. And as you had pointed out earlier, to no um, choice of your own, this is the calling that God has given you. You have accepted the call. Now, it would be as equally a uh, blessing for us to have this opportunity to support you, to help you in your journey of getting this message out to the men of our community, the families of our community, and my brother, even to me, as I listen to you, I'm taking in this knowledge and this wisdom as well that I might apply it to my life, that I might live a strong and healthy life. So give us some inroads of how we can help you, how people can get in touch with you, and what other resources that might be brought to the table to help further this worthy cause of letting our brothers know about the issues of health and living a healthy lifestyle. I really like those 10 points that you brought out that we got to pay attention to. Well, was well, first thing, uh, Kevin, uh, again, that, that if a, a man or young brother chooses to, to accept the 10 principles and practice them, I have a theory that every man has 10 people in his life that he influences. So if you look at accepting the 10 principles, influencing those 10, that 10 influences 10. And next thing you know, 10,000 people are affected with that formula. So one of the things that I want to make sure that I do with an organization like yours and any other organization is recognize that among the brethren, there, there are people that will accept. And, that's, and the only thing I'm asking people to do is, is you don't have to practice any hocus pocus or anything else, but just look at the 10 principles and ask yourself on a daily basis, am I doing these things? If not, why not? And then once you, once you do that, and then you begin to start looking at your loved ones. You look at your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your wife. You look at those people that you have an influence on. Because God put us here as men to influence those people around us. So, you know, again, you know, you're talking about those ten people, and then that ten affects the other ten. Next thing you know, we'll have a movement going. But, see, one of the challenges that I've seen through the years is that most of us who, who stand on, on the platforms and pontificate and use verbal gymnastics, we, 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 don't, we don't give any clearly defined messages that, that the people can take and, and go back and say, okay, you know, here's what I can do. So one of the things that I'm hoping that we can do, Calvin, is that we can begin to work with the brethren and the women and the children who love them in training sessions that we can actually do here at Impact or anywhere in the city. We can actually take these principles that we have and we can actually use them, teach them, because it's clear to me and it's worked for me. And then let me also mention, too, now you mentioned the fact that I have overcome. Yes, I have overcome, but I'm still overcoming every day. All right. Every day I have to, to have to function at a different level uh, because, uh, you know, I don't know the day nor the time nor the hour that it's time for me to leave here. Just like even coming here today, uh, I consumed a blended mix of kiwi, uh, insure, uh, honey, and water to make sure that for this taping that I would be strong enough to be able to withstand the fiery darts that come at me because whenever you're doing something good for the people, and I want every young brother to understand that, whenever you do something good, Satan always going to rise his negative head because that's his job to kill, steal, and destroy. But I refuse and I suggest, say to all brethren that you don't have to subject yourself to what he wants because that's his job. But again, if we love one another, love ourselves, you know, if we love our neighbors, then, then you begin to start, start feeling in your heart and your spirit that you can say good things to people and about people and they'll say good things about you. But again, now, trust me now, all this, the love talk that I'm talking, there's still a battle that we're in. That's right. And when you fight the, 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 the devil, you know, you know, you got to be ready for some warfare. So right. even though I might have lost 50, 60 pounds in my struggle, I'm still out here right. fighting physically if necessary 
to help saved brethren because we are in a, a warfare right now. And as I mentioned, just in this health challenge, there's 27,000 of us who die every year. That's just from prostate cancer. So when you start talking about the other illnesses, when you begin to start talking about violence, when you start talking about the other, just look at how many of us are being wiped out right. just because we've chosen yes. to live a certain kind of lifestyle. And I'm saying that we can live a different kind of lifestyle than the ones that we've chosen to live. And so uh, I'm taking my message out on the road, brother, and I would love to work with you Brother Bernard, Brother Ramsey, and any other brethren that, that are willing to work, I'm willing to work with you. Right, right. Well, you know, the work has already begun. We're joining the fight along with Lewis, and we're in it to win it. So he talked about the 10-10 ten, ten plan, 10-10, ten, ten, ten. Ten. Yes. and we're going to grow the army. So we are. We continue, we're calling all brothers. We're calling all brothers to join us in this journey to overcome the issues of health in our community. And it's a choice. He, uh, Lewis, you pointed out very much, and I think that's something we gotta make sure that the people understand. It's a choice yes. that you make. Now, again, as we talk to young people and a lot of decisions that they make and the choices they make, there are consequences to our choices. So we are interested in making healthy choices, good choices, because we are strengthening our community. And we strengthen our community by strengthening the men of our community. Yes, That's why, again, I, I, I'm happy to, that you touched on intellect and healthy and spiritual w uh, of our well-being. So you've heard it today, and you've heard it from the person that lives it every day. And you pointed that out. This is an everyday journey. It yeah. is not like it's started today. And end of tomorrow is an ongoing fight. You know, it's interesting. In 1906, uh, W.B. Du Bois talked about the talented 10, ten men um, that, that he, the philosophy that he wanted to take into the community. And he talked about that there was going to be certain kind of men that were going to have to go back into the community. But unfortunately, W.B., you know, wasn't able to really clearly define what that meant. And so when I'm saying I'm borrowing a page from W.B., 1906, in terms of where we need to be now. So instead of this being a talent of 10, this is called the 10 cells. All right. And we can work on this and we can make, uh, make our community stronger, Brother Calvin, by practicing these principles on a daily basis. Outstanding. Now, just give us a number uh, that you can be reached at. So as we close out this segment, we want the, 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 those that are watching to know how to get in touch with you. Well, first and foremost, um, I have my office location is at uh, the Wesley Center, which is at 10421 West 7 Mile. Uh, two uh, three blocks uh, west of Wyoming. My phone number is 313-333-8823. My email address is projectbetterman1 at yahoo.com. And, and very soon we're going to have our web page up for projectbetterman.com, at which time we're going to be sharing with the world, here's how you get involved. But again, anybody who's interested, remember, they can call me direct at 313-333-8823, and we've started our Speakers Bureau. We have uh, health panels that will come out and discuss these issues, but we want to get more in depth and we want to talk more about the health challenges because one of the things I refuse to accept is the pharmaceutical industries are the ones who are re really pushing this whole agenda. Because let me tell you, let me go back. 300,000 men are, are diagnosed every year, and to the pharmaceutical industry, every man is worth a half a million dollars. So when you multiply half a million dollars that man is valued at times 300,000, you see why this industry is a flourishing industry for them. Well, you've heard it right here, right now. Now is your opportunity to get in touch with Brother Coulson here and Project Better Man. He's giving you that telephone number. You're going to hear more segments and more information about it. We're calling out all brothers, all brothers to being a better man. We thank you for watching, and we ask you to stay tuned to the series that is going to talk about how we develop to be a better community through these initiatives of health and also wealth, because you talked about finances as well. So again, Lewis, thank you for being with us. And again, the collaboration of Tell My 2013 Story, Go to the Doctor and Project Better Man has brought you this segment today. Take heed.